I know we content creators say, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's another month. But sometimes the month goes by so fast that, wow, I can't believe it's another month. April is gone. We're into May. And these are my monthly favorites. Hello, friends. My name is Melissa. I'm 55-year-old content creator here on YouTube, all about beauty, lifestyle. I love makeup, skincare, and fashion. If you're looking for the over 40, over 50 woman in that space, then you've come to the right place. And I hope that you do decide to subscribe. And please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because so many already that watch my videos, about 60% are not subscribed and it helps me so much. If you just take one second and just click the subscribe button, it would help me out beyond compare. I always also talk about what I have on for an outfit because I get asked every single time. So everything that I have on today, including the shirt that you see right here and my outfit will be listed and linked below along with any jewelry I can list and all of the makeup I'm wearing as well. I get asked every single time. So I make sure that I do that for you. All right, let's get into what I was loving for the month. I want to get out of the way right off the bat, these gummies. Now I have major sleep problems. I am not a good sleeper. I have not been for years, probably 10 years since I got fibromyalgia. It's hard to sleep at night. I wake up in the middle of the night. It's hard to get back to sleep. My doctor said, try some melatonin and she gave me sleeping pills, but I'm not one that wants to feel that fuzzy head in the morning. I want to have a clear head and that's what it was doing to me. And so after she told me to try melatonin, I did a little bit of research and you're supposed to actually cycle. So I do try to do that. Um, I can't remember. I think it said like three weeks on one week off type thing so that your body doesn't get used to it. What I found are these gummies. I would have taken a pill. It would not have been a problem, but my son takes these too. So these are the neutral sleep melatonin, 10 milligrams, fall asleep, faster, stay asleep longer, wake up refreshed. And I can tell you that it does do that. So two gummies are the 10 milligrams and my sleep has been so much better and I feel like I'm staying asleep longer. That's the part of it that is really important to me. Before I was getting anywhere from about three to five hours of sleep. Now I can get at least seven. I really feel like these have done a really good thing for me. So I am loving those and I wanted to make sure I told you about them. And then I also wanted to make sure I told you about from Beauty of Joseon. This is the Apricot Blossom Peeling Gel. It doesn't have an apricot fragrance in it and it's not really a peeling gel. What it is, is it's a very mild exfoliator and I think I may have brought this to you before, but I want to talk about it today because I'm loving it this month. Now, as the seasons change, I always need to tweak my skincare just a little bit, but this right here, as I'm going through menopause and my skin's getting so much more sensitive is what I needed. And the reason is, is because the exfoliant in here is a physical exfoliant. It's not a chemical one, but it's made of plant cellulose, so it's not abrasive at all. As a matter of fact, it's so very gentle that all you can feel is just these little plant fibers rolling around in your fingers and polishing your skin. It is so very gentle. So if you have sensitive skin or you have extremely dry skin that gets sensitive if you try to do too much exfoliation, this is going to be something you're going to love. I was shocked at how much this polished my face and how smooth my face felt after this. And it's very gentle. You could use it every day. As a matter of fact, some days I'll use it in place of my cleanser and it just makes my skin feel polished and like a baby's bottom. So I really love this as well. Also for about this past six weeks or so, I did have one of the you subscribers and thank you so much, you know who you are, suggest to me the Babe Lash Eyelash Serum. That's a mouthful. And the reason that she did that is because X Lash, which is the eyelash serum that I used for such a long time, is no longer available in the States without humongous shipping over, I think it's made in the Netherlands or something. So I wanted to find one that was every bit as good. I think this is better. She said to me in my in the email she sent me that it was better because it didn't sting her eyes at times. And X Lash can do that, not Babe Lash. I am loving this. I'm noticing so much thicker in my eyelashes than I had. Not even the length, although I know that comes over time, but the thickness of my eyelashes and I'm absolutely loving it. So this product definitely gets my thumbs up and I know that the longer that you use these, the better your eyelashes will be because it slows down the stage where your eyelashes are resting and not growing or falling out. So this has just been great and I'm so glad, I'm so glad that she recommended it. I really appreciate that. Another product that I shared with you in my nighttime skincare and I forgot 
forgot how amazing this is is from Dermalec and it's the self-esteem beauty sleep serum this has l-ascorbic acid glycolic acid and salicylic acid in it so you're getting that acid slough and the acid softness and you're also getting the l-ascorbic acid which as we all know is the brightening agent now you put this on at night and if you have very sensitive skin you're going to notice that prickly that tingling it will go away after a while but i don't want you to use it like that if you have very sensitive skin what i want you to do is build up so you may be only able to handle this for five minutes and then you have to wash it off or 10 minutes and then you have to wash it off because your skin is very sensitive i don't want you to burn your skin i want you to be very careful that's how i started i started with a couple nights a week with it just being on my face and then me washing it off after however long i could handle it being on there and then i noticed that it, there was definitely sloughing but i noticed the softness the softness that comes in my skin from this product is tremendous now i'm using this anywhere from one to two times a week it's usually one time a week and i'm using it as a leave-on product i use this in alternate with my retinol products so if i was going to use this one night i wouldn't be using the murad that same night i wouldn't be combining them together you want to be very careful if you have sensitive skin if you don't you might be able to handle this more often I know that a lot of people say I have skin that's tough as leather Well, this is going to help soften it But you're also going to be able to use it more often which gives you even more softness I'm also noticing how much it's brightening my complexion So this is a great one if you're somebody that has been thinking about getting some sort of a chemical exfoliant This might be the trick for you elf also came out with their power grip dewy setting spray And I did show this in a demo to you and I will try to remember to put that video up in a link here or down in the description box but what i really like about this is it does have a little bit of oils in here so you have to mix it up by shaking it really well they got the mister just perfect on this i mean that mist is super fine it goes on your face there's not any droplets you don't have to worry about going back in with a sponge to make sure there's nothing spitting at you it's beautiful and it will set your makeup and i have my makeup on all day but because i am a dry skin gal i don't feel like this dries me out in addition to whatever powders or anything i use I love using a dewy setting spray because I am a dry gal and I do have to set my under eyes with a tiny bit of powder. But you can emphasize those lines with powder, right? So using this on top of there just melts the powder in with all your other makeup. I would say they nailed it when they were trying to get the dewy look in this. So this has been one that I've been loving for the month, but they also came out. This is sort of new-ish, but uh, it's new to me. This one is the Elf Skin All Set for Sun Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Sunscreen sun protection and setting spray now i probably wouldn't use this for a setting spray but to refresh your makeup during the day as you're going along and you need after two or three hours to have extra sun sunscreen put on your face this is so good it is so easy now i won't say that this is the best spray ever but it does get on your face and it does cover coat your face and cover your face so that's really the only thing that i would say you might need a puff afterwards to catch anything that it may have spit at you but as far as being able to reapply your sunscreen during the day and not disrupt your makeup this is the ticket i am so happy with this this does have alcohol in it i can smell the alcohol but for me during the summer months when i'm sweating a little bit and my makeup is breaking apart anyway this is nice to be able to have that to be able to keep your makeup in place but be able to reapply your sunscreen it's so important that we do that but this is so good as far as how we can do that what i'm wearing for a lip gloss on top of my lips today is one that i wanted to share with you even though this doesn't have a lot of pigment to it what I have on is an actual lipstick, which will be listed down below. Even though it doesn't have that, this is one of the best lip glosses. And this rivals any high-end lip gloss that isn't a plumper that I have ever bought. This is from Revlon. It's the Super Lustrous The Gloss. This is number 203, and it's Lean In is the color. It's just a really pretty hint of peachy pink gloss with a little bit of shimmers in there. Oh. I love this stuff. It's so pretty. I love the feel of this. It gives you a soft, juicy feel to your lips without being super sticky like some of them can be. This is just a really pretty lip gloss on top of anything, or if you want to wear it on its own, you can do that too. They have a bunch of different colors if you're just looking for a gloss as well. Beautiful lip gloss. I've known about this forever, but I did just get this lean in color and I love it on top of any of my lipstick. I also wanted to share a palette with you. This is the So Essential palette from ColourPop. Oh wow. I have this on my eyes today and oh wow. 
I love how cool tone this is. Even this color right here that may look a come across as a little bit brown, it's not at all. This is a gray based color and it is absolutely pretty. Now you all know that I love ColourPop shadows anyway. I love how they perform, but some of them are better than others and that's how I feel about this palette. This blue right here, which is the blue that I have on my eyelid today, is this hint of blue in an icy base. It's so pretty. And then this one right here, it is a little bit more chunky and it does have some glitter in it, but look how pretty that is. Wouldn't that be pretty at a party or a wedding or anything like that? All of these in here are super easy to work with. This is a really pretty palette if you've been looking for a cool tone palette. Now remember that the colors do come across as a little bit bluish, but at the same time, if you're somebody that has been wanting something different, you've been wanting to go a different route with your eye makeup, you like that bluish color, you're gonna love this. And I'll tell you, if you have brown eyes, Blue makes your eyes just pop completely. If you have green eyes, it will do the same thing. This is a palette that I definitely want to give my thumbs up to. Tell you I've been using it all month and it's just so pretty on the eyes. Just really love it. I did get asked specifically about the Natasha Denona concealer this month because I had listed it in makeup I was wearing on one of my videos. I have been alternating between this one and the Tower 28 because I love both of them and what they do for my mature under eyes. I have very, very dark circles, as most of you know, and I they drive me crazy because usually when you do anything underneath your eyes, you either look more crepey or you know more drawn out because they do emphasize fine lines or settle into fine lines. This does not settle. Now, do I have to use a little bit of powder? powder? Yes, I do. But also remember that I use powder every single time in no matter what I'm putting underneath my eyes because I do have deep wrinkles under there and I don't want it to settle. But misting a setting spray on top of that, like I was showing you with the e.l.f. Grip, just completely makes it melt in. Now, what I do like about this is it's a tiny bit thicker than the Tower 28. The Tower 28 is a very thin formula with high pigment. I love that about it, but sometimes I will notice through the day that the Tower 28 will be showing. My troughs right here a little bit will come through, but I don't want those to show through through the day. And the Natasha Denona is the one that keeps those at bay all day long. And I can look in the mirror at night and see that I still have concealer on. Some concealers wear away like a blush will, but this doesn't. And it's so nice, so easy to wear for me. A tiny bit goes a very long way. And I can recommend this 100%. I think that Natasha Denona did a fantastic job with this concealer, and yes, I do love it. Another foundation that I've been just loving so much, and I have it on today, is the Urban Decay Face Bond. This is newly out, newly released, and I've been really surprised at how much I like this. I have noticed how long wearing this is more than anything. And going forward to the summer months when it gets really hot, that's going to be really, really important. But it perfects my skin, too. I am just shocked at how pretty it lays across my skin and doesn't settle into the areas that drive me the crazy craziest, you know, which is the chin fold right here and the nose fold. And it does all of that in one coat. Now I have to put a little bit more over the redness and the dark spots that I have through this area, but nowhere else. It just does a great job. It is so pretty with so many primers that I've used. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've used a primer that I don't love this with. So it just really is one that I've really been loving and enjoying. And I wanted to pass on to you that this one gets my thumbs up as well. I might even do a demo on this so that you can see, you know, from morning to night. Now this on me right now is about, I would say this is probably about six hours of wear. I put this on this morning and now I'm taping. So it's really good and I really have been enjoying it. And like I said, no break apart, no settling. It itself is probably a medium consistency foundation and then it's medium to buildable coverage. So I really have been enjoying and loving this one. I wanna leave you on a high note and that is the YSL mask. I've been testing this out ever since the Sephora sale and I saw Lisa J say that this is her favorite mascara. This is a wow, wow, wow product. As far as the, the wand goes, I'm not super wowed by it, but as far as the formula inside of here, I'm super wowed by the formula. The wand itself is the natural bristle brushes. This gives amazing volume. So if you're somebody that has long lashes already and you want the volume, this gives amazing volume. And then you just have to go in and tip your lashes to get a little bit of extra length after you've done your coats or whatever you're going to do. It doesn't clump together like I have found with so many of the other mascaras that I've tried that are high end. But what is amazing about it is it never even flakes even a teeny tiny bit. It never smudges even a teeny tiny bit. This is just a fantastic 
mascara and I'm so blown away at how long it lasts. So if you're somebody that gets up in the morning, you put your mascara on, you go to bed at night, you're like, what happened to my eyes? I don't got nothing on my eyes. <laughs> That isn't this. This is something that's going to last all day long. And I swear to you, even if you're a person that stays up 15, 16 hours, you are seriously going to be looking in the mirror at night and it's still going to be there. It's an amazing mascara. I have one more thing. Sorry. Lastly, I will leave you on the fashion note that I have of this really nice little wallet. This is a very compact wallet, although it's a little bit thicker than the ones I've been carrying. I think I do like it a little bit more than the ones I have been carrying, even though it is a little bit thicker, because for one, it does have the place in the front where you can keep your ID and you just, you know, if somebody asks for your ID, you can just show them like that. It also has the second compartment. So it's got two compartments and it's got a coin purse. And then for your money, your receipts, anything, you can put it over on this side. The wallet that I was carrying was just the accordion, which I'm going to show you, the accordion that you have for your credit cards. I love these because number one, you can see your credit cards and you can just pull them out very easily. And I also like that they're all divided and you don't have to go, well, what's what in there? And I just thought that this was so nice because it gave you both things, the coin purse or the money part, and then also the side that has the credit cards. And I love this blush color. I like the detailing that they did on it. You can also attach this to a key ring so your keys can go there. And I love the little decorative tassels that they've done with the gold accents. So this is really pretty. I've been really enjoying it. All right, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my monthly favorites for April. What were your monthly favorites for April? Tell me down in the comment section what you really enjoyed. And I hope that you do take a second to click the like button as you're going out of here. Come around and see me really soon in my next video. I hope that you're all doing really well. Love you much, my friends. Goodbye.